Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph the y equals negative sine of x. And you can see that there's barely any transformation. The only thing different between this and the parent graph is there's a negative in front of there. And so let's go back to our function and kind of see what is that going to do. So y equals a times sine of shoot, bx minus c plus d. So you can see there's no um, b, c, or d, um, or a other than 1. But we can see that a is negative. So whenever a is negative, all we're simply doing is going to reflect over the x-axis. Now, since there's no other transformations, um, we can let's just graph the parent graph. So hopefully, you understand or know what the parent graph of sine is. So the si parent graph of sine has an amplitude of 1, all right, and it has a period of 2 pi. Actually, so let's do, let's do two periods. So let's do 2 pi. 4 pi. And then remember, we have at every single, um, the minimum and the maximum all start uh, at a scale of 4. So we have, so the scale for the parent graph is pi over 4, pi halves, 3 pi over 4, pi fours. two pi. That should be, sorry, it's pi halves. Pi halves, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Sorry, the x scale is pi halves. Whew. All right, um, a lot of times it gets um, easy just to write this as 4 pi. So therefore, I can write this as 5 pi over 2. 6 pi over 2 would be 3 pi. 7 pi over 2, and then 8 pi over 2, which would be 4 pi. So I'm going to do two periods. Remember that the parent graph of sine start, crosses at the origin, goes up to its maximum. A lot of students always forget that. They confuse it with tangent. Goes up to its maximum, down to its intercept, down to its minimum, back to intercept, back up to maximum to complete the period. Right? You can see. Dang, oh, God. You can see now, here is one period's worth, right? So it started here, went up, went down, and then now completed one period. Now remember, we aren't, we aren't graphing sine. We will actually need to graph sine of negative x. So I'm going to make sure this is dotted. But I'm going to continue my pattern here. OK. so. That is the parent graph y equals sine of x. But we need to graph y equals negative sine of x. And all that telling you doing is just reflecting this graph over the x-axis. So any point that I have above the x-axis is now going to be below the x-axis. I can't reflect a point that's on the axis, so that's going to remain the same. This point now gets reflected up here. This goes down here. This point goes up here. So now I'm just going to use the same points that are on the axis, but now connect. There you go. So that is y equals negative sine of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use the parent graph to graph y equals negative sine of x. Thanks.